This video is about the artillery units in the Der Weltkrieg series of games. Since there are no artillery units in the Tannenberg introductory game, you don't need to watch this video until you play the larger games. Infantry units in the game contain both riflemen and artillery pieces. Roughly half of an infantry unit's firepower, and thus its strength, came from its artillery. This is a picture of a typical French 75mm gun. A French division had about 60 of these, while I had about 6,000 infantrymen. The games have two main types of artillery units. Regular artillery units, such as this unit here, and siege artillery units, such as these two here. These units have only artillery. They have no infantry component. Regular artillery units have the large caliber guns, like the ones you see here, that provide an army with its heavy firepower. Siege artillery units contain enormously large guns that throw a huge projectile, just not very far. These guns were designed specifically to deal with fortresses. Their use at the start of the war was quite a shock, as they quickly demolished Belgian fortifications. Since they have no infantry component, artillery units do not take up space on the front line. Instead, they take up a lot of space in the rear area. As a result, a hex has a separate stacking limitation for artillery. There can be up to three artillery units in a hex, and this is in addition to the other combat unit stacking limits. Since artillery units are not entering actual frontline areas, they are not as affected by enemy zones of control. So if an artillery unit enters a hex in an enemy zone of control that is already occupied by a friendly infantry unit, it does not spend an extra movement point to enter that hex. So this artillery unit here would move one, two movement points to make this move. It would still have to spend, however, the extra movement point to leave the hex. So this would still cost one, two movement points. All of the artillery's bulky equipment means that they are also more difficult to transport. A regular artillery unit, such as this artillery regiment here, counts as two divisions when moved by rail. A siege artillery battery, such as this one here, counts as a single division when moved by rail. Artillery units require vast quantities of shells and propellant. They must be supplied in order to use their combat strength. There is no such thing as an unsupplied artillery attack or counterattack, and in both cases, their supply lines cannot be longer than four movement points. In this example, the German 1st Artillery Regiment could be supplied by the German 3rd Army Headquarters, but the 9th Regiment is too far away. Thus, it could not be supplied by this headquarter to either attack or counterattack. Because they use so many shells, artillery units are supplied at a different rate than other combat units. A single supply point from a headquarters will supply four infantry strength points for an attack, but only two artillery strength points. The supply expenditure for artillery is one supply point for two artillery strength points for either attacking or counterattacking. Also note that when counterattacking, artillery units are only doubled, never tripled. Artillery units do not retreat. Remember that they are mostly heavy guns, and it takes a lot to get these large pieces into position. And it also takes significant time to move them back out. So if you retreat out of a hex containing artillery units, they are lost. Since they cannot retreat, artillery units are not part of the calculation to determine if a defender is required to retreat. The artillery unit does not count as frontline strength 
so it doesn't factor into calculating if the defender will take enough losses to trigger a retreat. Let's look at an example of combat involving artillery units on both sides. In this example, the Germans in hexes 1210 and 1311 are attacking the French in hex 1211. I've taken the units involved off of the map so you can see the details more clearly. Looking at the forces involved, the Germans have two 8-5 infantry divisions and two 3-4 artillery regiments in hex 1210. In hex 1311 they have another 8-5 infantry division and yet another 3-4 artillery regiment. The French meanwhile in hex 1211 have a 6-4 and a 4-4 infantry division plus a single 3-4 artillery regiment. As the attacker the German player would need to expend six supply points to fully supply his infantry units, one supply point for every four attacking infantry strength points. He would need to spend another five to supply his artillery units, one supply point for every two or fraction of two artillery strength points. As the defender, the French player would need to expend five supply points to fully supply his infantry units, one supply for every two counterattacking infantry strength points, and another two supply points to fully supply the artillery unit. The Germans will attack on the 33 column of the combat results table. Since there is no defensive terrain the defender can use, there are no die roll modifiers to the combat. If the German player rolls anything but a 1 or a 2, the French player will have to retreat. This is because the mandatory retreat requirements are based only on the defending infantry units. Since the French player has 10 defending infantry strength points, mandatory retreat is triggered for him should he lose 5 or more strength points. Let's say that the German player rolls a 2, inflicting 4 strength points worth of losses on the French. Let's say further that the French player decides not to retreat. He would then counterattack with 3 times 10, or 30, from his defending infantry, plus another 3 times 2 from his artillery for a total of 36. This will allow the French to do similar or greater damage to the attacking Germans. But now let's look at what would happen if the attacker had rolled a 3 instead of a 2. This would have inflicted five losses on the French and would force them to retreat. In this case, the French infantry would retreat out of hex 1211, losing three strength points due to the reduction in losses for retreating. The French artillery unit, however, cannot retreat and instead would be eliminated. In the ensuing counterattack, the French would counterattack with 10 times 2 or 20 for the retreating infantry plus 3 times 2 for the artillery for a total of 26. You can attack a hex with just artillery units from adjacent hexes. When you do so, only the enemy artillery can counterattack. Such attacks are still modified due to terrain with the exception that rivers have no effect. Such bombardments will have some effect, but due to artillery using so much ammunition, you will use up a lot of supply points.